Hello everyone, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of Python's Realm. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. We're on the 30th episode, my friends, and today we have some awesome things to do. We really, really do. So actually, we're going to start off with the comment question of the video because it's going to be one of the things that we do in today's episode in that uh, Kostas Dimikos says you should farm Duke Fish one to get his wings. Absolutely, absolutely. You could not be more correct if you tried. For those of you guys unaware... Duke Fishrun's wings, aside from, you know, the, the lunar wings, are indeed the best wings in the game because they give you, like, an insane amount of speed while you're flying. And as a result, your mobility is, like, increased, like, tenfold compared to all of the other wings you can get. So, yeah. Like I say, aside from the solar wings, I think that the Fishrun wings are definitely worth getting. So... Since the last episode, though, what I've been doing is I've been doing a bunch of fishing. And as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, this is all the stuff that I managed to get from a bunch of wooden crates. And check it out, guys. We didn't just get one load of climbing claws. We got two climbing claws, okay? Which is pretty awesome because what it means is that finally we can make ourselves the Master Ninja Gear. And for those of you guys unaware, we are needing that because it's just a really good thing to have. So, yeah, we got ourselves the tabby, there's the shoe spikes, and there's the climbing claws. So, let's go ahead and get this thing done. Ooh, look at all this stuff. Shark Ron Bloon? Cool. Hey, we might be able to go ahead and save ourselves a ton of inventory space just by uh, making some of these things. Uh, there's the tiger climbing gear. There's the master ninja gear at long last. And then, look at that. We've also got a pink horseshoe balloon. Wow, that's kind of cool. I'm not like there's not even any reason for me to actually make these things I'm just kind of doing it just for the hell of it <laughs> just so I can save some inventory space I guess so there we go uh, And of course we've got the climbing claws there. I also got this thing We got a fuzzy carrot from fishing which is kind of amazing. So yeah, I think it'd be a cool idea to go ahead and uh, give that a go. But in the meantime, I think what would also be a good idea is if we were to go ahead and A, put our stuff away. So let's just get our uh, piggy out real quick and we'll put all of our bait away. There we go. You see we've got like a little fishing section in here. We've got like a little wiring section in here. We've got all of the boss and event summons down here. You know, I've been trying to keep things organized because, you know, by being organized, you know, things are looking good. So let's quick stack all of those bad boys and yeah. So we've got ourselves one truffle worm. I mean, yeah, it's it's okay, but it would be really nice if we could grab ourselves some more. So I think maybe to start off today's episode, I mean, I kind of want to check this out, though. Hey, we got a bunny. Oh, man, it's been a long time. It's been a long time since I've had a bunny, man. Oh, so cool. So cool. Anyways, guys, so I'm going to start off today by going down to the underground mushroom biomes, and uh, I'd really like to try and get myself another couple truffle worms at the very least. And then, yeah, we're hopefully going to be farming out Duke Fishrun, the Duke of Dukes, and then hopefully getting his wings. That'd be really, really cool. Uh, but before that, I just want to show you guys something real quick. I have organized everything in my greenhouse. I've bought over all of the stuff that we got from fishing as well. And check out all of these potions we can now make, guys. Warmth potions, rage potions, endurance potions, calming, heart reach, all of these things are probably going to be pretty damn useful against the Duke of Dukes. So let's grab this. I'm going to grab a calming potion this time as well. And then, of course, we've got all of these other things we can have. Uh, mana regen, magic power. Uh, we've got ourselves iron skin. I mean, you know, pretty standard stuff, right? One, two, three. There we go. I feel like these buffs here will do the job real nicely in terms of, uh, you know, uh, taking down the Duke real easy. So, yeah. Uh, real quick, though, let's just go ahead and give this a quick reforge. We're looking for either menacing or warding. Menacing or warding. Uh, although Lockie's kind of cool. Although menacing's even cooler. Okay, cool. <laughs> Alright, don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. So before, I think we were going ahead and uh, replacing the fire gauntlet. So, yeah. We're now going to go and take that off. Uh, I mean, I could just put it in a chest for now or something. Oh, yeah, that's the little fish chest. So I can make uh, fish soups and stuff. <laughs> uh, kind of cool. But anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead. Oh, there's even more fish in here. What the hell? All right, you, you fish need to go in here. Except for the bomb fish. They're not very useful at all. Let's get you all chucked away. Um, yeah. Right, anyways, let's get some mushrooms. Uh, mushrooms? Let's get some truffle worms and then get to work on the farming. Aha! There's one truffle worm. So we're now up to two. Uh, how many should we go for? I'm not even entirely sure, to be honest. Like, maybe five? Would that be, like, an acceptable number? I feel like five in is an acceptable number. Gives us a decent amount of chances to get ourselves the fish on wings, right? 
Aha! There we go. There's our fifth truffle worm. For those of you guys uh, unaware, the, the fifth truffle worm is actually in the piggy bank. So, there we go. There's the fifth one. Hey! Right. Now then, to the ocean. Alrighty, guys. So, this time, let's actually have ourselves some summons. And we'll get our buffs on. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to actually get this thing rolling. So, there is the fisher rung. There are the truffle worms. And, yeah, this time we've got ourselves a bunch more weapons. We've got the Influx Waver. We've got ourselves the Flare on. You know, all of this stuff should do the job real nicely. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, go on. Especially, oh, the Master Ninja Gear is going to be so nice, dude. It really, really is. Go on, all the damage. Oh, I love the fact <laughs> that we've got Icor on. This is so good. I mean, the amount of damage we're doing is absolutely, like... Amazing. Like, it genuinely is, actually. Like, holy crap. <laughs> the damage per second counter is going nuts. Awesome. Alright, guys. So, uh, yeah. Let's just, uh, let's try and take this guy down a whole bunch of times, huh? Yeah! Let's go, man. What do we got? It's a Tempest Staff. Hey! That's pretty good. Alright, uh, should we replace our dudes with the Tempests? Yeah! Gotta love those little Sharknados, dude! <laughs> Oh, go on. Yeah, yeah, get absolutely schmung dingled. Cool. All right. Number two. Whoa. -hey. Another one by the dust. Hey, come on, man. Fish on wings is what we're after. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. baby. The razor blade typhoon. Arguably one of the best weapons pre-lunar stage in the game. Hey, not bad at all, dudes. Not bad. Sadly, I don't have a mage loadout. I think it'd be a nice idea to switch the mage, though. I mean, this thing would do well over 100 damage if we did actually have a mage loadout. So, yeah, I think it'd be a cool idea. Maybe in the next episode or, you know, at the end of this episode, maybe we could switch to mage. I think that'd be a nice idea just to change it up a little bit. All right, that's number three taken down. Hey, another flare on. Okay, cool. Come on, boys. Let's keep it going. <laughs> so I managed to kill Fishron before he even got into his third stage. That's hilarious. Right, what have we got this time? Another flare on. All right, we've got one more chance at this. And then, uh, well, if we don't get it this time, then RNG is being a bit of a butt to us. Come on, man. Come on. Final go. Come on. Let's have ourselves a good little finale for this, uh, for this little session here. Come on. And there we go, guys. Moment of truth. Come on, boys. Ah, oh. No fish run wings. Dang it, man. Thanks, RNG, for being a butthead to us. Eh. Do you know what? Do you know what? I think we can turn this negative into a positive. Maybe we switch to mage right now. And then we try to, you know, maybe maybe we try to do a little bit of the old taking down drink fish from with major loadouts. I think that'd be a cool idea. Yeah. You gotta love the razor blade typhoon, man. Such a good weapon. All right, so let's go home. And, uh, yeah. Wait, 13 gold coins. Is that all we've got? That seems extraordinarily low for expert mode Duke fish one from a treasure bag. Is that a bug? Like, that legitimately seems like a bug. I only got 12 gold coins from taking down Duke Fish one five times. That's that's a bit of a rip-off, Relogic. Let's have that buff to 1.3.6, please. That'd be really cool. Because, uh, yeah, that seems... It, it almost makes Duke Fish one just not worth farming out. I mean, come on, man. It's just it's a bit crazy, dude. It's a bit crazy. Ah, guys, you remember the old days of the Spectre Armor? The regenerative and offensive Spectre Armor? Oh, man, I'm missing those days. We've got ourselves 38 ectoplasm, but the other thing we need, of course, is a whole ton of chlorophyte. Now, good thing is, we should have ourselves an absolute ton of chlorophyte in this world, since it has been a long time since I've actually mined it. So, we need only go in the jungle and just mine up a ton of it. So, yeah, we've got like five minutes worth of uh, jungle chlorophyte spelunking. So, let's get down here. Let's mine up a bunch of chlorophyte, five minutes worth. And uh, let's see how many bits of spectre barrage we can make, um, I guess. Yeah, sounds like a good idea to me. Right, let's get down here somewhere. And then we'll activate the potion and boof. Right. Let's get to work, my friends. Let's get to work. Alrighty, guys. Just a few more seconds of jungle spelunking left. I'm just trying to look for some chlorophyte. There's a little bit just over here. And I think this is going to be the final bit of chlorophyte we actually dig up. Uh, there we go. Alright, so question is how many did we actually manage to get? 314. Hey! 
That's not bad. That is not bad. However, I will say, I'm pretty sure I saw a tiny bit just over here somewhere. Right? Did I? Or did I not? Yeah. No, I definitely did see some. There you go. There's a tiny bit up there and a tiny little nugget of it right there. All right, let's get out of here. We done, my friends. We done. Oh, my gosh. Right, so we've got ourselves a lot of things going on at this point. So why don't we go ahead and get back to our meteor base and uh, let's actually get on with... With doing the making of the things. Right, so, uh, cobweb, that is a material for, uh, potions, believe it or not. Uh, let's just quickly put our monies away. Back up to three platinum, very, very nice. Uh, so, yeah, what we need to do now is, wait, where's our ores gone? Oh, they're in here. Wow, we've actually got 345 chlorophyte ore. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it any day, my friends. I'll take it any day. There we go. 62. And we should be able to convert that to 62 Spectre Bards. Ooh, baby. Oh, look at this, my friends. At long last. Spectre Armor. Oh, my word. Okay, so here we go. There's the Spectre Pants. There's the Spectre Robe. And, well, we can go for either Regenerative or we can go for Offensive. I rather like the idea of the Offensive. Because you could do like an absolute ridiculous ton of damage. And if I really need to get health back, I can continue using the vampire knives, right? So, yeah, we'll go for the offensive one. Uh, what is this? Spectre paintbrush roller? Oh, uh, yeah. These might be useful for building in this void, actually. Plus three range. That's quite a lot of range, huh? Cool. All right. Well, there we go, my friends. We've got the Spectre Armor. Let's just uh, confirm that the set bonus is still the same. Yep. Magic damage done will hurt extra enemies nearby. So, yeah. They basically spurt out little, uh, little sort of, um, I don't know, like little bolts that come out and they home in on enemies and they just destroy people. And it's actually kind of amazing. So, guys, what I'm going to go and do now is I'm going to try and grab as many of the mage related accessories that we have. And we're going to try and get ourselves a bit of a mage loadout going. Because by doing that, we should be able to hopefully take down Duke Fishron in some slightly more interesting formats. Oh, yes, boys. <laughs> Mythical Razor Blade Typhoon 110 magic damage uses 12 mana. Okay, cool. So we've got 260 mana there. We're probably going to get a little bit more by putting on some mage accessories. Man, that is cool though. And of course, we've got the Nimbus Rod here to use in conjunction and the Golden Shower. So we don't even need, I mean, we can't even use the Flask of Eye Cords, right? So we're going to have to use the Golden Shower. So that's kind of cool. Huh. All right, nice one. And then, of course, you know, we've still got the uh, the vampire knives to use, uh, if we so wish. So, yeah, this is going to be absolutely banging, dudes. Hell yeah. Aha! There we go, my friends. I just got myself another five truffle worms. So we've got five more chances at this thing. Oh, there's a crimson mimic around here somewhere. Might be worth... God, Jesus. Get out of here, man. Right, it might be worth trying to get the crimson mimic. Oh, he's up here somewhere then. Uh, right, where is this fool? You gotta be here, man. You gotta be here. I bet I can see him somewhere. Must be in our peripheral vision somewhere, dude. Hmm. Okay. Well, he's not despawning. So, yeah. He absolutely... 100% uh, must be around here somewhere. Uh, Flaky graces do way too much damage. Oh, my gosh. Right. Where is this dude? You down here? Oh. Ah, oh, well then. That is, that's fantastic. Well, anyways, we've still got our truffle worm, so I'm not too fussed about that. I am kind of fussed about losing 35 gold, though. Jeez, man. Oh, I wish I had resurrection potions from the Calamity mod. Wouldn't that be awesome? It would. Oh, is it? Is it that? Or is it actually... I think it's from the Alchemist NPC mod, isn't it? When I really think about it. Yeah, that makes more sense, actually. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, guys, check this out. I got myself an ancient iron helmet as well, which I thought was pretty interesting. So, that's pretty cool. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Alrighty, folks, let's get this thing underway. We've got the uh, got the Tempest staff right here, and we've got all of our magic weapons here. Let's buff up. This now does 129 damage. Wow, that's actually a hell of a lot, man. Okay, well, yeah, as you can see, we've got a Sorcerer Emblem. We've got ourselves the Mana Flower. Sadly, we don't have the Magic Cuffs, which is kind of, you know, sucky, to say the very least. But hey-ho, it's all good. Let's see what kind of damage per second we can get out of this bad boy. Hey, that's not bad. Ah, that's not bad at all. Wow. Just got to make sure we keep alive, my friends. Yeah, look at that. Damage per second is like well over 1,000, even over 1,500 in some places here, which is kind of amazing. All right. Ah! Way. Now things are getting tasty, my friends. Let's keep it going. Oh, here we go. Ah, right. Second form, ladies and gentlemen. Ah! 
There we go. Come on, then. Let's have you all i I guess. Okay, let's keep it going. I'll tell you something. This weapon is probably going to be very, very useful in third stage as well. It has to be said. So, yes. And it'll be any second now that we actually get into third stage. In fact, make that now. There we go. Right, and now what we've got to do is try to survive this. Whee! Whee! Oh, my gosh. Okay. Oh, there we go. With a mage loadout. Brilliant. All right, what do we got? Another razor blade typhoon. Not bad. Holy crap. <laughs> Even with a mage loadout, we still did absolutely brilliantly. All right, well, let's take down the other four. Yeah. Come on, buddy. Uh, tsunami. Hey, we ain't got that yet. That's pretty cool. Oh, no. I went too far out of the freaking ocean by I couldn't do anything. Like, there was a bunch of death behind me. There was Sharknadoes. There was Fish One himself. I had no choice but to go to the left. Wow. Okay. Well, that's a bit of a sad thing. Ugh. All right. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. We've got two more chances, my friends. Two more chances. Come on. Let's keep our spirits high. Oh, that was a close one, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, there they are. Oh. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. The fish run wings are there. And I'm pretty convinced at this point. Actually, no. There's only one weapon I don't think I managed to get from fish run. And that is the bubble gun. But aside from that, I'm pretty sure we've got every single drop you can get. Which is pretty amazing, man. Oh, my gosh. So, I'm going to show you guys the reason why I wanted them so bad in just a sec. But I'm just going to give them a quick reforge. Uh, you know, menacing or warding. Would be very, very nice. I mean, apparently it doesn't cost that much to even reforge them, which is kind of interesting. Anyway, so we're going from warding frozen wings and let's go ahead and check this thing out. Okay, so this is the frozen wings, you know, pretty, pretty standard speed and all that kind of stuff. But ladies and gentlemen, if I put on the fish run wings, check out how fast I go now. Whee! Oh my gosh. Dude, I love the speed of the fish run wings. And this is the reason why I think that the fish run wings are the best wings pre-lunar event. Like, this is incredible. <laughs> oh, amazing stuff, guys. Amazing stuff. So, ladies and gentlemen, mission complete. Time to end the episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this boss farming episode with all of the action, do be sure to drop a like rating as it will really help out myself, the channel, and the video very much. I'd super appreciate it if you did. Uh, hit the subscribe button, ding that bell as well if you don't want to miss out on future Terraria content, folks. But that's going to wrap it up. We finally got our fish run wings, and we're ready to take on whatever's next. Thank you so much for watching, my friends. Really appreciate your continued support. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.